the departure of Nahum the prophet. On this day is the commemoration of the righteous prophet Nahum, one of the minor twelve prophets. He was born in the village of El Kos, one of the villages of Galilee. He was of the tribe of Simeon. Among the prophets, he was sixteen from Moses down. He prophesied in the days of Amaziah the son of Joas, and in the days of Azariah his son. He, he rebuked the children of Israel because of the worship of idols, and, revealed, and he revealed to them that although God, the Most High, is, compo is compassionate and abundant in mercy, yet he is a jealous God who will take vengeance on his adversaries. He prophesied concerning the preaching of the gospel and the apostles who should preach it, saying, Behold, on the mountains, the feet of him who brings good tidings, who proclaims peace, Nahum prophesied about the destruction that would come upon Nineveh. That was fulfilled since God has sent an earthquake and fire which destroyed and burned up the people that returned from the way of righteousness and committed the sin. As for those who were staying in the in the ways, no evil no no evil no harm befell them. Well, when he completed his days in a life pleasing to God, he departed in peace. His peace is prayers be with us. Amen. The Martyrdom of Saint Victor On this day also, Saint Victor was martyred. He was born in the town, the province of Asiut, east of the Nile. He was appointed a soldier in the city of Sao. During that time, the edict of Diocletian was issued to worship and raise incense to, to the idols. When Saint Victor refused to worship the idols, the governor of Sao called him and tried to befriend it with him, but he failed to persuade, he, to persuade him. The governor finally cast him into prison. His parents, come, his parents came and encouraged him to face martyrdom. Once again, the governor brought him from prison and ordered him to worship the idols, but St. Victor refused. When the governor of Saul failed to make him renounce to his faith in the Lord Christ, he was in Greek. He sent, to, he sent him to the governor of the province of Asiut, along with some, with some soldiers and emissaries informing him of what had happened. When the governor of Asiut read the message, he summoned Victor. When Victor came before him, the governor asked him, Why did you disobey the governor of Saul? No, if you listen to me, I shall place you in a high Ghana, and I shall write to the emperor to appoint you as governor of over one of the cities. The city saw, the saint shouted with a loud voice, saying, The kingdoms of the world vanish, the god perished, the, the, the god perishes, the cloth works out, the beauty of the body, will corrupt and be eaten by worms, and will, and will disappear in graves. Therefore I would not forsake my Lord Christ, my Lord Jesus Christ, creator of heaven and earth, and the provider of everyone, to worship idols, make of stone, which are inhibited by devils. The governor was in great and ordered him, and ordered him to be tied to the tails of horses, and dragged to the village of Abyssidia. There, there, they asked him again to worship the idols, but he refused. The governor ordered to him to be killed by throwing him in boiling water the, in the village of Mosa, east of the village of Ebesidia. Well, when they took him there, Victor asked the soldiers to wait in order that he might pray first. He extended him his arms and prayed to the Lord. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and promised him with many prophecies and the everlasting blessings in the kingdom of heaven. Then St. Victor looked to the soldiers and told them, Finish what you, has, finish what you have been ordered to do. 
They bound him and cast him into the boiling water. He endured the, to the end, completed his, tri- his good strife, and received the crown of heavenly kingdom. Some Christians secretly recovered his body and hid it until till the end of the Diocletian reign. When they revealed it, the people who saw it testified that they found the body whole with not even one hair with not even one hair bird and lying peacefully like a sleeping person. They built a great church in his name, which exists in the village of Moshe, province of Asyut. Many wonders and signs were manifested from his body and still appear to this day. His prayers be with us. Amen. On this day also is the commemoration of the martyrdom of St. Isidorus. His prayers be with us, and glory be to our God forever. Amen.